Hey y'all and welcome to Our Great House Vlogs. My name is Lisa. Welcome to my little corner of the YouTube world. Um, my eyes water a lot as you probably know if you watch my channel. And if you don't, my eyes water a lot. So um, this morning I have already taped this but I don't think it turned out. I think something was wonky with the setting. So I'm, I'm refilling this part. But this morning it's going to be an exciting day because Perry Homes is opening up a new model home in Devonshire in Forney and um, we, you know, the realtors get invited and um, so they're giving away Tiffany presents. We don't know what it is, but the last time they gave out the big Kendra Scott earrings like this one, but the bigger ones. And so they gave it out like a bunch. They're only giving out 75 presents. So I'm like, what are they giving out? I don't know. Even if it's like a Tiffany keychain, it's fine. I got this Tiffany necklace in New York. Oh, my chain is messed up. I got this in New York. My husband bought it for me at Tiffany's um, on Fifth Avenue and um, to commemorate our New York trip. Anyway, so it's already going to be a fun day, right? It's raining outside, so it kind of makes it meh. But I love the rain, actually. I really do love the rain, especially if I'm gonna be staying home. I just like curling up, hearing the rain. I don't mind the rain. I don't mind getting out in the rain. But anyway, so I'm going to that event and I there's a, a house close by. And they said, the agent told me that they were getting it ready for an estate sale. So I just happened to go on estatesales.net. There's an app on my phone. And just to check it out. And I'm like, oh, there's, a, there's an estate sale close by. I zoom in on it. And I'm like, oh, it's the house I'm talking about. So I'm like, what? That's awesome. So I start scrolling through. They have milk glass, y'all. They have milk glass. I'm like, what? Mm. I like milk glass. And so I can see myself spending some money today. And it's okay. I mean, I don't I don't go to every I don't spend money at every estate sale I go to. Probably that's a lot. But still, like I usually just buy something small, something like just tiny. I don't I don't go crazy at them, okay? Because usually the prices are just, you know, I mean they're a little pricey compared to like a true garage sale or something. Um, but anyway, so then I'm scrolling through the pictures and they've got like old toys, like Tinker Toys. They had um, these old tins and I'm like, ooh, those look nice too. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pick up one of those. You know, just scrolling through, just scrolling through. They have Nancy Drew books, y'all. They have Nancy Drew books. If you don't know, I collect Nancy Drew books. I, and I'm talking like old Nancy Drew. I'm not talking about like published in 19, like republished in 1980 or whatever. I'm talking like, well... I don't know. I don't know when the last time my books were published. But anyway, I'm not talking about the new covers. I'm talking about the old, the older the better, actually. These are the yellow covers. And I took a picture of it and I'm zooming in to see if it's any of the ones on my list that I'm missing because I'm missing several Nancy Drew books off my list. And I don't really know what happened to them because I know I had a complete collection. It was like I had volumes like um, books one through 56 or 58 or whatever the last book is. I'm not a hardcore Nancy Drew collector, by the way. I just, I like my Nancy Drews because they were from my childhood. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go see, I actually know where I lost one of them. It was on an American Airlines flight. I believe it was 2012 because that's when my grandpa died. I think it was 2012 when he died. So, um, we took an American Airlines flight and we got, we were switching from one flight to another to make it in time. Um, for some activities that, that were happening at in El Paso and um, I put the book in the seat pocket in front of me and when I was like okay mom brother we're going we're switching planes we got up and I left the book so so when we got to the next our destination I'm like hey I left my book. I even told the airline stewardess on the flight because I'm thinking surely they can communicate to somebody may not be important to most people, but literally this is a book that my mom got me and she wrote in the front of it, you know, so it's like special. Plus the bookmark that was in there was a bookmark my son gave me and my son Nicholas. So, I mean, those are just like, you know, you're like, okay, but no, for real, it was like, it's an, it was an important thing to me. So when we get off the plane, um, I tell the gate attendant, I tell the lost and found at in El Paso and they're like, sorry, we can't help you. We can't find your book. Uh, I think they gave me a number to call. Anyway, I'm like, mm. 
You could have called. You could have called. You knew what seat I was in. You could have called that plane and said, hey, check the seat pocket in front because of that seat because, you know, this poor woman just lost her book and the bookmark and, you know, help me recover it. And then it could have been a great story that I could have posted all over the internet, but no, no. And I'm not bitter about it because, I, you know, I'm not still talking about it however many years later, so... Anyway, that's my story, but I am going to just like toss that out of my head right now because I'm going to go to this estate sale. It opens at 10. I'm going to be there before 10 because I'm going to be like that Mervyn's commercial. Did you guys have Mervyn's? I think it's Mervyn's California. But anyway, like the girl would go open, open, open. That's, that's going to be me at this estate sale. And I'm going to be like, <laughs> can I come in first? Can I come in? Can I have first dibs? You know, um, can I get like a backstage pass to get in sooner? Anyway, I doubt that they're going to do that for me. So, um, I'm going to finish putting on mascara because what I do is I put on a, a little coats and then I wait a little bit. I've waited a little bit and now I'm going to put on some more coats and then I wait a little bit and then I put on some more coats. Did I already explain this to you? I don't know. Also, I did my easy winged eyeliner. Do you follow me on Instagram? You saw my stories a couple weeks back where I showed you how to do this super easy winged eyeliner, like no fail recipe. It fails sometimes, but you know, you still can call it a no fail because Maybe for you it won't fail. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. So let's go and get a hot chocolate. Let's go get ready for that estate sale. It's not too far away. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get in and get all the stuff that I want because I'm going to go look at it now and I'm going to go make a plan of action. I'm going to go here first, then I'm going to go there. Nancy Drew's are first on my list. I'm going straight for the Nancy Drew's, not passing go, not collecting $200. I'm going to get that. I'll even forego my Tiffany gift to get these Nancy Drew's. That's how hardcore I am about them. But it, I shouldn't have to. I mean, I should be able to get the Nancy Drew's and get to the other event. So, because we're not leaving until like 1045, I think. We're going to leave like super early so that we're like for sure the first 75 there. But, um, yeah. So anyway, that's what we're going to do today. So let's, let's skedaddle and get on with the day, guys. And I'll take you along with me to the estate sale and we'll see if I get the books. Okay, so, Matt Tom Thumb just met with the builder and it's sleeting out here. It's not even cold enough to be sleeting. What are you doing? So I'm running in to get me a hot chocolate. I had to run to meet the builder first to choose the grout color for the uh, backsplash, which I chose gray, and also to choose the grout color for the fireplace, which I chose the black. So done, check that off. Talk to him about some of the other things that I saw that needed to be done. So now I'm running over here to get a hot chocolate because then I'm gonna go get my Nancy Drew books. I can't wait. I am really excited about that, y'all. Okay, I am out here at the estate sale and I got my Nancy Drew books, so check that off my list of things to do here. And I've got a couple more things that I wanna go scope out, see if they're still around. I'm out here at the estate sale. I got my Nancy Drew books. There's tons and tons of cool stuff. So I'm gonna try to go through the house really quickly and see what I can find, see if there's anything else I need to add to my list, and then get to work. I ended up buying the Nancy Drew books. They, when I got to the counter, they were like, oh, they're $45. I'm like, no, it said 30. So got them for 30, <laughs> uh, which is a pretty good price. And then I got um, some plates, a couple milk glass things. And now they didn't have any sacks. So I had to go back and get my sack, my one with my grandkids on it, and uh, go back and pack up my stuff and then go to the office. Okay, here is their mudroom area. Two little baskets at the bottom. By the way, I'm in the Perry model home right now. We just had our event. I think I already said hello from here, but I got my Tiffany's thing. It's a little like planning calendar thing. Real cute. And it's the Tiffany blue. So, you know, it's super cute. But let me show you the rest of the house. So here's the kitchen area. And they have an island with a outlet there. Just great space. And cabinets kitchen it opens up into the living room so that's nice but um, let's go down this way so down this way is the hall to the other two bedrooms there's the bathroom and look they've done the tile up and down so that's kind of a nice spin on just like a regular subway tile and they use the extra long tiles and they have really pretty countertops in here and then in here they've it's a decent sized room. Maybe it could be a bit bigger, but I like it. Nice light feature right there. Has carpet. So let's look at the 
closet to see how big it is. Oh, okay, it's a good size closet. You can kind of walk in. So that's nice. They put the shelf up there, so that's kind of nice to put some artwork and such. And then through here is the other bedroom. It's kind of like a girl's room. Well, or just like a really feminine guy, I guess. But that light is really pretty. Another walk-in closet. So that's really kind of nice. You have carpet on the floors in both bedrooms. And this opens up into the living room. It's got great windows. And then the master is back here. So it's got a great master. The feature wall back here is like a brick feature wall. Pretty interesting lights. And then they have the shower here. Hexagon tiles in here. They've got that little window. Window seat. They've got a little corner seat. I guess it's kind of by window. And then the garden tub. And of course, double vanities. Hi. And a nice master walk-in closet. So this is nice. Plenty of room for all of your stuff. I am back out at my house now. Um, we just toured some model homes, dropped off my stuff at the office, and I came here really quick to take a peek and see what they've done. I see that they put the house numbers up, and I'm gonna go inside and see what else is happening. <laughs> Heading into Tom Thumb to get stuff for chicken parmesan for dinner tonight. Gonna get salad, the stuff for chicken parmesan, and garlic bread. <laughs> I know that there are some people that do not like peeps, but I love them. My personal favorite is either the pink or the classic yellow. Either one, either one works for me. I look tired. <laughs> Maybe because I am. Um, so I've got the salad so far. I'm about to get the breaded chicken breast and we already have spaghetti at home and so I just got some ragu and I got some candy because it was on clearance and I'm about to get some cookies because <laughs> I love cookies and there's no one here to stop me I got the chicken breast I got the spaghetti sauce we have spaghetti at home oh I need garlic bread <laughs> okay I'll go get garlic bread um, but I'm also going to get some circus peanuts. I don't know. I don't know why I'm not eating, wanting to eat right right now, but I'd blame it on stress. But you think like stress would like have me like really super hyper focused, but I'm not. So I'm going to go home, make this for dinner, and we'll have some wine with dinner. My Stella Rosa Moscata Diasti, which I need to get one more bottle of while I'm here. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. It's gonna be yummy. Don't take the girl. Like. Okay, so listen to the end of the song. Honey's daddy's taking and fishing when he was eight years old. Okay, like does the mom live at the end? I've always wondered. And I can't remember if it's in the video or not, but I'm always like, did she live? I don't know. Hey everyone, I forgot to end yesterday's vlog. I'm so sorry. Or at least I don't think I did. So maybe when I go back and edit, I'll go like, oh wait, I really, I did. I remembered to end the vlog. But we had chicken parmesan for dinner last night. It was delish. We had several glasses of wine, which were also delish. We were celebrating, hashtag celebrating with Stella Rosa Moscato di Asti wine. It's our favorite. Also, I'm about to go to another estate sale, which is down the street. It's actually a house that I wanted to peek inside of, but I just never previewed it. So anyway, I'm gonna go look at that. There's nothing there that I saw online that I wanted. So it's mostly just to be kind of like taking a peek. The cats are, are playing. Anyways, so I'm gonna end yesterday's vlog right now and I will see you later today, but I will see you tomorrow. Bye.